Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. This video is dedicated to anyone and every one of you guys who are interested in buying a new build, new construction, 2022 house or later when it's built from a builder in a new community. The house that smells nice, looks nice and well, nobody lived there before you. So that's the main benefit. And I'm going to tell you in today's video everything that you have to know about new construction. I'll also give some hints in, term, in terms of the pricing on how much money it would cost you, some terms of the contracts to look out for, and hey, I'm going to show you around. I'm in currently in Wolfville, where there is lots of builders building new homes. I'm going to Legacy right after this video, after I shoot it. I'm on a journey for my Ontario clients right now. By the way, I'm a real estate agent with XP Realty here in Calgary and my contacts will be in the description of this video, guys. So I'm on a journey to find a new home. So builders are too busy right now with the market conditions. So I just drove here to find the right place for my clients. Anyways, guys, so I wanted to show you as well, like what's going on, what I'm doing here, because I haven't been publishing much, many videos lately. I've been too busy with real estate and I decided, why not I make a video from the place where I am while I'm working. So this is what I do, guys. All these ones are duplexes behind me. So Wolf Villa Legacy in the south part of Calgary, guys. Once again, you contact me if you need more details. My phone number, email, everything is in the description of this video. So in this area, you could buy a newer house. Now, there is no townhouses here from several builders that I asked. Most of them are at Legacy. But if you're searching for a single family detached house, you could find it in this area as well. Really beautiful location, under development. So what's the main benefit, guys? Let me tell you before I tell you the prices. I'll tell you the price a little bit later to this video on how much money it would cost you and what's the buying process. Like Just basics before we go in details. So what you should know, guys, is, well, First of all, buying a new house, nobody lived. It's nice, it's beautiful, it smells, it looks good, and it's very prestigious. There's nothing going to be wrong with it. There is a builder's warranty on it. You know, the, you're basically covered for many years before anything, any issue should come up. And if anything comes up, the builder would take care of it. So the best thing about new house is you get a new house. And it's just so much better than the older one. But of course, I don't discourage people buying an older house. I personally like older houses and I bought older house and I helped a lot of people buy older house. People who want more kind of value, you know, for, for the land, for location. The location here, like the lots in this location, as far as I sneak with my eye, because I can like, you know, I check. So the houses, guys, the lot here is closer to like $190,000, $200,000. But if you go, closer to downtown the same land could be five hundred six hundred thousand dollars just for the land without the house and the house itself could be another 450 something like that but we'll go on the pricing later so i'm just saying guys the land is cheaper here so if you want to get more value for the land rather than for a house you go for an older one but if you want both then it's going to be really expensive but if you're on the budget this would be a great option so all of these are the benefits guys of buying a new house now before I tell you the negative parts, I'm actually really close to the negative parts. Well, let me show you what you can expect if you are buying a new house. And it's going to last until they develop the community. So here you go, see like coming soon, assigned show homes. So you see like everything here is beautiful. Over here is nice houses, everything is good. Now, when you go to this side, that's what guys going on. So you get a little bit of construction. You know, you get some escal excavation and a little uh, empty lots in front. So if you're buying a new house, that's kind of the main challenge. Guys, if you are buying it, you would see construction trucks. And like, look at that, it goes into nowhere. So they haven't built that part yet. You see that? And I don't know what's got happening on that side as well. So see, it's like half built. So, <laughs> and they'll be building it for years until the entire community is developed. It might take years, might take five years. You know, that's the negative part. So you'll be like, oh, look at this, it's sold. Oh, look at this, and show homes. Oh, look, their construction is happening. And this nuisance, and I mean like, you know, dirt on the roads, 
from the tractors, the developers come in there. All of these lots are going to be available starting the summer. Not all of them, part of them. One phase, next phase, next phase. So there are several phases for the builders. Later on, there's going to be built. There's not going to be any dirt on the road. But this is what you would expect in a newer community new house that's the negative part a little bit of a noise pollution a little bit of uncertainty what's going to happen a little bit of issues with possible transportation so let's say if you are going to like livingston area Evanston area and you know then we can go beyond that area the new community before they connect transit to it it has to have a certain amount of population for the city to put transit there. So if you don't have a car, difficult to get around. And that's like difficult to figure things out how the community is going to eventually in the very end look. So those are the negative parts. You are not in control. Like look at this. That's what's coming up over here. That's the billboard. That's what's going to look like in this area. When it's going to be done, I have no idea. And that's the price of getting a new house. But if you're patient enough, and it happened many times. And when the computer community is developed, you know, a few years down the road, your house appreciation could, I'm not saying it will, but it could jump up. And you could end up in a really prime location and you could make hundreds of thousands of dollars if that happens. And it did happen in the northwest of Calgary. Right now I'm in the south part of Calgary and it happened, but let me tell you guys now about the prices. Now, how do I get out from the middle of nowhere? to the houses so guys those are duplexes on that side how much would the duplex be well i asked the builders and i'm several of them the prices are pretty similar to each other so like around 500 starts at 450s 500s for one side of a duplex and you can actually put a legal basement suite guys but that would be additional one in a duplex for your rental income if you're like me, you want to do Airbnb. If you're like me and you want to have an extra passive income from short-term rental or long-term rental, I would recommend getting that. Now, how much would be the, like, an average home? You know, I asked them about 2,500 square feet house, two-story, three, believe three or four bedrooms, I don't remember exactly. 2,500 square feet, two-story, double car garage house. Starts at, 630 670s a range so by the time you get all the upgrades and everything you can expect closer to seven hundred thousand dollars for something big if you want if you're on a budget and you will back alley garage so it's going to be like one of this you see this is the back alley so you would literally buy a house like this but maybe smaller 12 uh, 1200 square feet 1200 square feet no garage starts at five hundred and six thousand dollars approximately 506 half a million dollars if you want a garage like that double uh, double car garage the builder is saying it's going to cost you roughly thirty five thousand dollars that builder now don't quote me when you go to a builder you ask the builder how much it's going to cost you that's how it basically works you guys this these are the prices so uh, if you're going to go and buy something guys 506 I heard that uh, by the way guys there are still some houses I talked to the builders that you can find in 450s and up no garage all the upgrades th roughly throwing hundred and hundred and fifty thousand dollars on top of it to make it real price but you could start finding something in 450s range minimum unfinished basement no garage you want to finish basement count roughly another 70 plus thousand dollars garage 30 plus five plus thousand dollars so just just keep that in mind guys they put lower prices to lower you in builders but they make money on the upgrades and other things that are coming with the house and it's normal you're buying a new house that's a way of how things are done now here's guys one detail that i wanted to mention very important and it's only for those of you guys who made it to the very end of the video I'm going to give you a big secret. Not all builders. Here is how a lot of people that I'm dealing with from Ontario are thinking. And it still works in terms of making potentially money. But 
here is guys what people are thinking I am not against or supporting that idea I know a lot of video authors do not support that idea personally myself I'm kind of I don't really like it too but here's what people are said how they made money and that's what they are doing right now is basically they would buy a house right now to secure a price with the new construction to make sure that by the time they get possession the chances are the prices could go up and especially in this kind of market economy now i cannot predict that i am not an astrologer to tell you the house prices are going to keep on going up but that's what people believe to secure a house from a builder by the time it builds by the time they take possession the prices would go up and they would get value here's one thing you have to remember guys a lot of builders even big ones they put a clause in a contract it's called escalation clause so by the time you get your keys a year, the new construction could be delayed. It could take you longer than they promised. So by the time you get your possession of your house, they could send you a notification a few months prior saying that, hey, look, the prices went up. We want more money for the same house and there is no way for you to really get out of that contract. Keep an eye for escalation clauses. Keep an eye for the details of the contract. And that's why you should contact your uh, Igor who is a realtor here <laughs> for these kind of things but not all I already have a list of builders that I will provide you that I already talked to the salespeople that do not have escalation clauses if that's what you are looking for they have what is what's it called a fixed contract so what you pay what you agreed on that's what you're going to pay whenever you get possession and not more I would also still recommend reviewing every contract with your lawyer. I'm coming from Eastern Europe, guys. I trust nobody, especially when you have to give half a million dollars. So I would not save $200, $400 consultation with the lawyer or to review a contract. I would not be saving money on that if I was making such a big purchase right now. And I don't recommend you saving money on anything. Always consult a lawyer. Make sure everything is good when you sign it. Now, how does the entire process work? I'm going to tell you guys a little bit because you made it to this point of the video. Other people already switched off, so they're not going to know. They lost out. Here's how it works. I spoke to a couple of builders. Mind that not every builder has the same process. It could be different. But generally, they would want a 10% down payment deposit. Because their thinking is that you, they are building the house for you. So let's say you're buying a $600,000 house, you need $60,000 as a deposit. Now they could split it 50 per, for, uh, for, you know, like 30% now, 30% later. You can still put a condition for your financial approval. So what happens is that once your bank approves you, then you give a deposit. That is how it works, guys. That's how you would be getting the house and everything. And if you really want to know more information about Calgary real estate market, you know, guys, who to call. Igor with the Experiality here in Calgary. Like, my phone is in the description. What are you waiting for? Anyways, guys, these are the details. I'm a proud owner of an older house. And honestly, I could probably sell my house right now at a price of a new built house just because of the value of the land that it sits on went up so keep in mind there is a portion of the house and a portion of the land the cheaper the land you can get the cheaper the house so let's say this house could be half a million dollar house and the land could be two hundred thousand dollars next thing you know seven hundred thousand but it's in the other way around, half a million dollar land and two hundred thousand dollar house. And that would be my house. And that's how I invested my money. Guys, think about your investments. Talk to your financial advisors. And if you're thinking of real estate, you need a mortgage broker or, you know, anyone, I can recommend you. I can send you a list of mortgage brokers and help you out with the entire process. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is really helpful i really wanted to share the information that i know that for some reason realtors don't want to share but you know me i just share everything online see you guys soon bye for now and also one small legal disclosure all the prices everything varies from the builder to builder rules and the entire process differs from builder 
to builders. So guys, if you go to somebody and say, Igor told me that, guys, we have, we, we have to go to a builder and find out their details. They're different. There is more than five builders in this area alone. There's so many of them. But I prefer working with reputable ones and bigger ones only. And I suggest you do the same. Bye for now, guys. See you soon.